Hi, my name is Neilan Joshan Pulley, and this is a walkthrough of the third and final part or presentation of the J Jobs uh, website. So, this is part three of three um, walkthroughs of the development of this site. Um, J Jobs, as I like to call it at the moment, is uh, built using Knockout JS, MySQL, uh, JSON, XML. Um, uh, Twitter Bootstrap, and uh, it was made in order to develop a low-cost, um, high-performance uh, template for developing websites. So uh, it uses multiple databases. If you want, it's configurable on the back end. Uh, and you can use that to uh, scale uh, horizontally and handle uh, much more traffic. If your web servers get overloaded, you can also, since it's built on Apache, you can also scale uh, the front end horizontally and uh, just mirror or uh, put a load balancer on the top in the front end too in order for it to handle more traffic. Um, so let me tell you what I've done since last time. Right now, I'm using the full text uh, search engine. So I have uh, sorted the results based on similarity. Um, so uh, it'll find the more similar results uh, and uh, organize them accordingly. Uh, so you can put in the skill you're, that you're looking for, like I'm looking for SQL jobs. You search for it, and it'll bring up SQL developers. I've also added salary range, and for this particular instance, no salary was entered, but this way you can find out how much a job is paying. Um, also, I've uh, completed the actual skill search uh, for employers, so if you're looking for a particular candidate, you can enter the skills you're looking for, and it'll bring back users. If a user hasn't been active for over a month, which means they're probably not using the site or actively looking for a job, they'll be uh, automatically neglected from the searches. Um, you can also log in. So I'm going to log in as uh, a special account I've made. This account is both uh, employee and employer. In reality, you won't be able to uh, create an account like this. However, um, this is a special account, so you'll only be able to be an employee or an employer. You won't be able to be both. So, um, now as an employer, I can search for an employee. Let's say I'm looking for people QA skills. At the moment, only Jason Monroe is active. Uh, I've disabled other users. I can go and contact them. And then I could either, I could uh, send him a message. New message to JM. Uh, new message to JM. That's the title and this is the message body. Uh, over here I could also access my stored messages. I will talk about that in a moment. So I could uh, I have a bunch of stored messages for contacting a user. I could load the stored message and it'll automatically load it here. And then I could send the message and initiate contact with the user. So uh, let's uh, rename it uh, new message to JM. Since I want it to be unique, I'm going to send that message. Since I am also JM, or Jason Monroe, I can go to my control panel. I'll be able to look at my messages. And then I will be able to scroll down. I'll probably change the organization of this uh, later. Right? And... I'll be able to go to the bottom and I'll see a uh, new message to JM. I could click on more and I will say new message. I'll see new message to JM and I see the title that I, the title, which was new message to JM and the content of the message body also. For stored messages, this is functionality I added. I have a control panel. Uh, um, for employers, they can go to my uh, stored messages, and then you could uh, view the messages. Um, you can create a new message. So 
so it's a new, a new message. Uh, so I'm going to call the title Monkey D. Luffy and the message is going to be Rubbery Guy. So you create message, successfully complete a task, and now I have a new message that has been stored. If I want to edit it, I can go here, edit the name, apply changes, and it tells me the task has been completed successfully, and I have that name, new name, or I could delete it. And I deleted it, and now I have access to the actual... Um, now I have deleted that uh, particular message from the control panel. And uh, as before, the, all the previous functionality is still there. You can post jobs, you can uh, review job status and see how many people have applied to a particular job. Um, in this case, uh, I've also added it so you can see the non-registered uh, people that have applied to the jobs and submitted their resume. You can view the application. As you can see here is the cover letters and the actual resume. Um, if you want to view the actual user's uh, skills, since this is a non-registered user, you can't view their skills. Since this is a registered uh, user, you could view their skills. So this is, uh, um, their name is bad too, and I'm going to look at their skill profile and they haven't listed any skills here. Um, so, um, by viewing their skills I could also contact them. And uh, that's about it. I might, I'm, I'm planning on the next release to, uh, um, what was I planning on the next release? I'll check the design blog. On the next release I am planning on adding location. Um, so you can search for a job by uh, a user by location. Um, oh, and for the messages, I also added the infinite scroll. Uh, um, infinite scroll. I, I created an infinite scroll. So basically, if you're looking at your messages, and uh, you scroll down, you could uh, you'll get the second page and the third page, and it'll automatically increment. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go all the way down. So you saw that loading screen, that was loading another page. It was very brief if you had caught it, and it's already incremented to the second page. So in that way you could limit the amount of information that is loaded at one time, and uh, uh, load based on where the user is looking. Uh, while I'm giving this presentation, I thought I might as well uh, go and change the order in which uh, the message history is uh, um, listed. So I'm going to go order by um, me dot create date, and let's say descending because I believe ascending is the automatic uh, result. Let's go back here. Enter. Uh, and this is uh, the last message that was actually posted. I'll probably add the date it was posted also. And um, yeah, that is the first release. It is a easy way to get in contact with uh, employees. It's a simple job search engine. I'm going to create an API for it and document it so that people will be able to use it. And maybe I'll make it open source even. Um, so now I'm going to log out. And... Uh, I hope you enjoyed the end-to-end -end build of a system. This uses object-oriented principles, model view view, uh, uh, MVVM uh, system for the JavaScript. It uh, distributes it uh, so that the client uh, uh, doesn't use up too much uh, or get have to deal with too much network traffic. That way, it'll reduce costs over the long term. And uh, yeah, then. I even put a link at the bottom to the site where I have a list of my projects that I've done in the past. Um, hopefully this will take off. Uh, this is the first one before I... And I'll be making a bunch of other products before I actually start uh, marketing it. So in this way I'll have a marketing platform in the future that's a bit stronger than what I currently have. 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a little bit more of a ramble than a presentation, but as you can see, it's uh, we can handle a lot of traffic, as I've shown in previous uh, presentations, and I thought it was pretty cool. All the technologies used to build it are free. Build it are free, thus so you're not gonna have to pay unnecessary licensing fees. So uh, uh, enjoy. Thanks and bye.